guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bryony and today I have an occult unboxing for you for the month of May. I know this is June now, but this is from May. Um, and the theme is Haunted House, which I'm very excited about. I think this is the one I've been excited about the most for a while actually. Um, so I'm really excited to see what's in this box. I will leave all the information for Occult Box um, in the description below and if you don't know it, it's just a monthly subscription box that has a different theme, spooky theme each month. And um, like I said, this month is Haunted House. So if you are interested in watching that, then please carry on watching. Please ignore the two missing prints from here. So I think the last time I filmed something, the middle one was missing and now that one's missing as well. I, I need to put them back up. <laughs> so please ignore that. But um, when I first opened the packaging, so I haven't opened the box yet, but I opened the packaging and this fell out. And I know this, this is from the bat themed box we had a while ago. It's like a postcard, but it's not postcard paper. It's all this flimsy one. Um, but it has that on it. You can pause it and read it if you'd like. Um, but it's, yeah, it's about bats. And I don't know why it's in this box. Maybe they had loads left over from the bats box or something. So they just thought they'd put them in. I don't know. Um, but now we can open the box. Da, 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 da. So on the top we have these paper bats. Do love a good bat. So we have a few of those. And then we've got a card saying, welcome foolish mortal. And on the back is a pretty cool illustration of a haunted house. So that does look like your stereotypical haunted house in a horror film, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's remove the bats. And I find this drawer, this sort of packaging, you know the paper where it's got all the holes in it, it makes you feel sick. You know that fear of things with loads of holes in? That is what this paper gives me and it makes me feel, oh, I hate it. So I'll try to remove that without looking at it. Hang on, one of the items is wrapped in that thing again, so this kind of looks like a, in the shape of a mug, so unwrap the vile packaging that I hate. <gasps> Here's a mug! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at that, guys. So it's got a haunted house there. It smells, it's like they've put a fragrance on this, but I don't know what it is. Um, anyway, it's a black mug. The handle looks really unique. Um, we've got a haunted house. We've got, I suppose this might be stars, but it looks more like snow to me. <laughs> and a crescent moon. And then it has this on the back, which says, Home Sweet Haunted Home. I really love that, actually. I really, really like that. I don't know if I use this as a mug or if I use it to store things in, like perhaps um makeup or makeup brushes or something we'll see but i love that home sweet haunted home thing on the back so that's pretty cute um it doesn't say if it's safe for the um what's the word <laughs> the dishwasher that's it i can't want to say washing machine it doesn't say if it's dishwasher safe so hopefully there'll be information further along in this which says that but i really like that guys that's a good start Next up, we have the usual black and white striped paper bag. It feels like it's full of a few things. And the sticker has a haunted house on it. It's the same design as the mug. So let's open it. There's a few things in here. So the first one is a mesh sort of black drawstring bag. And it has, oh, it's got a little ghosty in it. This looks like it might be a necklace or a bracelet or something. Yeah, that's a necklace. And it's got this cute diddy little ghost. Isn't he sweet? I love ghost things. I have a cat ghost tattooed on me. <laughs> um, and it looks like it's been put onto wood. That does look like wood, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, so I don't know if it's been painted on there with ink, I think. And it's got this silver chain. The chain doesn't look very big actually so it might fit more like a choker i think i just noticed oh gosh i've noticed all these like dried i think it's dried flowers come out which i think is what i could smell um but unfortunately now it's gone all over my bed so that's not helpful <laughs> what else is in this packaging oh my gosh hex so um 
so if you don't know these guys uh hex is like a bath bomb and soap company like a gothic sort of spooky one i did see that they had an item in this um the this box arrived quite late it actually arrived technically in june and i think i saw on instagram or an email or something that they were waiting on the hex items this must be it um i've never had anything from hex before but this stuff do look pretty cool so look at this character on the front isn't she cool she's got a crescent moon she's got green skin purple hair i've got purple hair not the same shade but she looks pretty cool and she's got nice nails her nails have got like pentagrams and um crescent moons on so i wish that's what my nails looked like mine is just blue <laughs> so oh my god i've just turned it around guys and there's like a hand i don't know if you can see it because of the film on it but there's like a rose a butterfly a hand oh my gosh that is the coolest thing i've ever seen in my life what does it smell like i can't decide what smell it is um so hex soap uh it's got coconut oil in apple and elderflower fragrance purple soap dye i think it's the elderflower i can smell that is so flipping cool um i'm not going to open it up yet because i don't want to use it yet but that's what the bottom of it looked like i don't know if it's the same on top or not the stickers in the way actually let me see if i can peel it off no it's just plain on the top but isn't that really cool um if i'm honest i would have preferred a bath bomb but i can appreciate that not everybody has bath so hand soap makes more sense um that's really exciting i'm happy with that so much they fit in this and also i've got that dried flowers all over my legs as well as my bed so i've just pulled it off but this says handmade on it ghost in a bottle and it says a cult box on it so they must have made it and it's a white drawstring bag this time and in it is a small glass bottle with a cork in it and oh my gosh so hanging from the cork is a ghost charm <laughs> and then in it is dried flowers again i think they're the same ones as the ones that have fallen out all on me that's pretty cute i'm not sure what i'm supposed to do with it but that's really cool maybe put it on display somewhere very sweet um Travel seance kit, talk with the spirits, Ouija board and planchette, amethyst crystal candle incense cones. Wow. Oh wow. So this is a large drawstring bag and like it said on the description, we've got da, 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 a candle, a little tea light one. Doesn't really smell of anything. Like I say in every occult box, um, if you watch my other occult box unboxings, you'll know this already. I don't like candles, so that's not going to get lit. Um, and we've got incense cones, so the, there's these red ones, so there's quite a few of them. It's got a really like soapy smell to it, but again, they're not going to get used because I don't like uh, candles. And then we've got an Ouija board, but I'm really struggling to get it out of the packaging because it there we go there's an ouija board um i don't know if you guys believe in you know using ouija boards i personally don't believe in it uh i know people you know they use ouija boards or they won't use them because they don't think spirit should be messed with um you know we all have our own opinions on it i'm not going to use it just because i don't believe in it but it's going to look cool on display i think this would make a really good coaster <laughs> um you know put the mug on there we go that's pretty good that's cool and it's in this um it's a hexagon isn't it and um it feels like faux leather as well so that's pretty cool looking i won't use it for what it was intended for but i'm gonna find another use for it totally forgot to add the crystal and this heart that's been burned from wood by the looks of it and that's the crystal still going with this paper bag guys they fit a lot in here so okay this is kind of heavy so it says skeleton key bottle opener 
so that's also by a cult box and then we've got this cool um is it copper like copper looking key it's got this cute design on the top it looks like a very old-fashioned key doesn't it um so that'll look good on display it's a bottle opener guys it says on there bottle opener i don't know how i managed to miss that this bit is the bottle opener that's way more handy i just thought it was something that goes on display but no you can actually open um a bottle with it which makes it 10 times more handy so i really like that that's such a unique fun idea and is there anything else in this yes there is gosh um oh my god grow your own pumpkin patch i've actually got some pumpkin seeds to um put in um it says plant in late may or early june so i'm gonna have to get on that because that's early june so seeds and soil directly outdoors or in pots indoors um yeah it tells you how to do it that's really fun i yeah like i said i've already got some i need to do but now i've got more i really want that to go well for me because i have a halloween party in october normally wasn't allowed to do it last year because of covid and hopefully i'll be able to do it this year fingers crossed depending how covid goes um so it'll be cool to have some pumpkins for my halloween party so that's a really fun idea and then there's one more item in here it is in a paper bag and it says wine glass charms Ooh, i mean i don't own any wine glasses because i don't really drink wine but let's have a look oh they're so cute so it's on these wire hoops they're quite like you can um what's the word can't think of the word um but you can move it around easy so we've got this charm it is a little haunted house and then this one is oh that's such a cute ghosty i'm sure i could find another use for these like i feel like i can use them as earrings or something to be honest or you know i could take the charms off and put them on something else so they're cute they're definitely a fun idea if you do have wine glasses um i don't but um they're still cute nonetheless and that's all the items in that paper bag so let's look what else there is so mystery house occult box is this a sticker yeah this is a sticker so that's a sticker um it's on a white background and it's got a cool looking haunted house on it a different haunted house to this one a different design so we always like stickers i'll probably put that on a notebook or something um what else Ooh. seance sew on patch okay so this is one of those sew on patches that you can put onto your clothes or to a, onto a bag or something it's a seance on it we've got a candle a cobweb and a planchette um so that's nice i've got another sew on patch from a cold box um it is i might have it here actually i've got this one that might have been for my box of goth actually but i've got another one that has ghosts on it somewhere and i still haven't put it on anything yet but um i would like to put these on a cardigan or something like that so i've just got to get around to it but that's a fun idea especially if you have like a battle jacket or something that would be fun to put on there oh i think this is a print we've got a print i love prints this is a haunted house again um it's very detailed i love it i just love haunted houses so much oh and it says it's by emily v keith i think that's how you pronounce it illustrations art and illustrations for the dark and obscure um and it's got her instagram and website on the back so you can pause that if you want to check her out but that's a really nice print i'll definitely put that on the wall is there anything else or is that it that's it just lots more um dried petals so overall um i'm quite happy with that box um i prefer it to the last two boxes um if you look at my other ones i wasn't completely in love with the past two boxes um what are my favorite items i would say my favorite item is the soap and the mug i think the mug's actually the most favorite one 
um and i'll definitely wear the necklace and i do really want to sow the pumpkin seeds um the ghost in a bottle and the key i don't really know what i'm going to do with them i suppose they'll have to go on display somewhere and like i said the ouija board i'm going to use as a coaster to be honest <laughs> um and in the candle and the cones they'll just have to find a new home because i don't like things what did you think of this box guys do let me know down in the comments below um the june theme is oh, gosh it's something in potions um maybe like magic and potions something along the lines of that so i don't know how i feel about that because i'm not a practicing witch or anything like that so if it's going to be you know potions and stuff they're not necessarily going to be things I'm going to use, so mm, I don't know how I feel about the next theme, but I liked that box. Um, do let me know what you think. Um, if you want to see more from me, please like this video and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is Brian E. B. Have a beautiful, wonderful day, guys. Take care. Bye.